Ever wanted to relive your favorite PlayStation 2 games on your PC? Today, I'll show you how to do just that using PC X2 emulator. This guide is beginner friendly, will cover everything from downloading PC X2 to configuring it for smooth gameplay. By the end, you'll be playing PS2 classics on your computer in full HD without any issues. PC X2 is a free and open source PS2 emulator. It's legal to use, but you will need some files from your own PS2 console like the BIOS file and game files. We'll talk about that later. Now, let's get started with the setup. First of all, open your browser and go to the official PCX2 website, pcx2.net. PCX2 is one of the most stable and advanced emulators available. In fact, over 98% of PS2 games are rated as playable, meaning most titles will run smoothly with default settings. On the downloads page, you'll see two versions, stable release and nightly builds. Nightly build includes the latest features, but may have occasional bugs. For beginners, the stable release is recommended. PCX2 supports Windows 10, 11, Linux and Mac OS. I'm gonna download the Windows installer. Once downloaded, run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions to install the emulator. The first time you launch PCX2, a set of wizard will appear. Start by selecting your language. Next, it's going to ask for the PS2 BIOS. BIOS is the PS2 system software. Without it, the emulator can't run games. So this is crucial. But PCX2 does not come with PS2 BIOS files for legal reasons. You'll need to provide your own BIOS files dumped from real PS2 console. If you don't have one, a quick Google search can help you with that. Once you have obtained your BIOS file, put it into the default BIOS folder in PCX2. Then hit the refresh list button. You should see your BIOS appear in the list. Select the BIOS. Next, you need to add your games directory to PCSX2. To run a PS2 game in PCSX2, you will typically use ISO files. First, place all your ISO files into a dedicated folder on your computer. Then, in PCSX2, click Add Game Directory and choose the folder where you saved your game ISOs. PCSX2 will scan the folder and automatically list all the compatible games in the main window. Next, you need to select your game controller. You can play PS2 games on your PC using a keyboard and mouse, but for the best experience, it's recommended to use a controller. PCX2 supports Xbox 360 or Xbox One controllers, DualShock or DualSense controllers, and other similar controllers. You can map the controller buttons automatically or map them later manually from the settings. Congrats! PCX2 is now configured with your PS2 BIOS and all your games should also appear in PCX2. To configure your controls, go to Settings, Controllers. Then select Controller Port 1 for Player 1. If you are using a PlayStation controller, enable DualShock mode. Then, map the buttons, Square, Triangle, L1, R2, Analog Sticks and more by clicking each one and pressing the corresponding button on your controller. If you are using a keyboard, default bindings are already set, but you can remap them as needed. For local multiplayer, repeat the process under port 2 for player 2. PCX2 allows you to upscale and enhance game visuals. Go to Settings, Graphics. From Renderer, choose between Direct3D11, Direct3D12, Vulkan or OpenGL. For Windows users, Direct3D11 or Vulkan is usually the best choice. I am selecting Vulkan since I have an NVIDIA GTX 1650. If you face graphical glitches, you can switch to another renderer. From the adapter drop-down, choose your dedicated graphics card. Also, you can change the aspect ratio. By default, PS2 games were 4 is to 3. However, PCX2 can support widescreen via patches. 
so you can set the aspect ratio to 16 is to 9 or whatever your monitor is. Then, make sure enable widescreen patches is turned on. This way, if a widescreen patch is available for a game, the game will display in 216 is to 9 without stretching. Next, internal resolution. This is how much we upscale the game's native resolution. PS2 games run around 480p or less, but PCX2 can increase the resolution for much higher graphics. If you have a reasonably modern PC, you can set this to 2x or 3x to get HD or full HD quality. If your GPU is strong, you can go higher like 4x or 6x for 4K level. Go with a resolution that your GPU can handle without slowing down the game. Also, enable texture filtering or anisotropic filtering. These can make textures look smoother at higher resolution. Now, it's time to play games. Simply double click on a game you want to play. The game will launch in a new window. To go to the full screen mode, press Alt plus Enter. Athena, you will suffer for this. Right now, I'm playing God of War 2. As you can see, the game is running smoothly and the visuals look far better than on the original console, thanks to the upscaling. I'm playing using only a keyboard and it works fine once you get used to the keys. But if you have a controller, I'd still recommend using that for more comfortable experience. I'm using the J key on my keyboard for light attacks, I for heavy attacks, K to jump, Q to block and L to grab enemies. You can set these keys however you like in the controller settings. Before quitting, don't forget to save your game. PCX2 supports both in-game saves and save states, so you can resume exactly where you left off. So guys, that's it for today. You have learned how to play PS2 games on your PC with the PCX2 emulator. With PCX2's high compatibility, you can enjoy thousands of PS2 titles on your computer, often with better graphics and performance than the original console. If this video helped you, please like, subscribe and comment your favorite PS2 game. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.